Friends, I'm Big John, and I'd like to ask if I can borrow six or seven minutes of your time. As you know, there's not a corner of the world that COVID-19 has not touched. Every country, every community, every company, every ministry, every family has been impacted, including Woodlands. Since we made the decision on March 12th to cancel our final weekend at Woodlands, this beautiful place has been empty. Now, as our summer camp season approaches in just a few weeks, we have a big decision to make. A decision that not only impacts our organization, but it also impacts you and your family. And although we don't have enough information to make a final call on whether our summer programming can or will happen, I did want to update you on how we're approaching this significant decision. As you can imagine, there's a lot of emotion connected to this decision. But as a board of directors, we felt it wise to create a framework through which we can make the decision with wisdom as the foundation, not feelings. So we created four guiding principles that will inform our final decision on what summer 2020 will look like. And I'd like to share them with you. First, we're going to trust God. We're gonna pray, do the right thing, and trust God for the rest, no matter what. Second, we're going to obey authority. Scripture is clear that we're all under authority. And our job as Christians is to submit to and obey that authority as if we were submitting to and obeying Jesus himself. As you know, President Trump has rolled out general guidelines for reopening business in America, but the specific details of how that happens in Georgia are gonna come from our governor and be enforced by our local health department. In Governor Kemp's address on Monday, April 20th, there seemed to be some light at the end of the tunnel, but it's created many new questions as well. We've reached out to the governor's office and have started a dialogue with our health department. And in the end, we're gonna abide by the guidelines set by our local and state authorities and healthcare professionals regarding large group gatherings, distancing, and sanitation protocols. Third, we're gonna value people. That's hardwired into the DNA of our organization as our three core values are to love, honor, and serve others. So, in deciding on whether we run camp and if so or if not what that looks like, we're gonna love, honor, and serve you our campers, their families, our staff, our speakers, our church partners. And here in part is what that looks like. If we have to cancel camp, we're going to refund your money. If we can move forward with camp, but you as a parent don't feel comfortable sending your child, we'll amend our cancellation policy this year and still give you an option to have your money refunded. That way, there's no risk for you in staying registered until we get more clarity. You know you can get your money back if needed. If we can move forward with camp and you want your child to attend, but you can't afford it due to a layoff or another COVID-related financial hardship, we'll find a way to get your child to camp, whether through a scholarship or even if we have to forgive your camp fee. Finally, the X factor in all this is that we're gonna give camp every opportunity to happen. We're not gonna preemptively cancel until we are certain there is no other option. So we're gonna continue hiring staff and planning programs while delaying making purchases and making a decision. Here's why it's so important that camp has every opportunity to happen. We all know that unprecedented numbers of kids struggle with anxiety and depression. And studies show that the root cause often traces back to devices. On average, kids are connected to devices seven to nine hours a day. And when that's the case, it leads to three things. The kids are alone, they're inactive, and they're saturated with the noise and messages and influences of culture but we weren't made to be alone or inactive or inundated with toxic messages. So the end result is often feelings of anxiety and depression. But my question last summer to many campers was, have you ever noticed that those feelings start to subside at Woodlands? And most were like, yeah. And my bottom line was that at Woodlands, you're not alone, you're in community. And at Woodlands, you're not inactive. You're outside competing and playing and swimming and zip lining. And at Woodlands, you're not saturated with the noise and messages of culture. You're disconnected. And ultimately at Woodlands, you get a concentrated dose of truth through quiet time and scripture memory and chapel and porch talks in an environment where you're valued and loved unconditionally. And if all of that was true a year ago, it's true on steroids today, after weeks and months of sheltering in place and social distancing. Kids need camp in summer 2020 like never before. So we're gonna trust God, obey authority, value people, but we're gonna give camp every opportunity to happen because so much hangs in the balance.
but rest assured, we will only move forward if we're confident that we can provide a safe environment for your child and our staff. So here's what we need from you. We need you to pray. Some of you have been around Woodlands long enough to remember the Pray for Rain campaign. In 2009, we drained the lake so we could build a new bridge, install the new water slides, and create a new beach. But on March 16th of that year, two months to the day before the start of our summer season, our lake was still down seven feet, and we were in a drought. So we launched what we called the Pray for Rain campaign. We sent out an email and social media communications and asked people to pray for rain. People prayed, and it started to rain. In fact, it rained and rained, and in the end, our summer season started and the lake was only down 12 inches. God provided over 2 million gallons of water. I later heard that the spring of 2009 was the rainiest spring on record in North Georgia in over 100 years in the middle of a severe drought. We firmly believe the truth of James 5.16, that the prayers of righteous people are powerful and effective. So we're asking each of you to pray. And here's specifically what you can pray for. First, pray that God would give us the wisdom to know exactly what to do about summer. Second, pray that God would prepare the hearts of our campers, speakers, and staff so the pump is primed if and when camp can happen. And third, pray that God would provide the opportunity for as many kids as possible to attend Woodlands this summer, experience an unforgettable week, and hear about Jesus. I'll be back in contact with you if we receive more information that allows us to make a decision or two weeks down the road, whichever comes first. Thanks for giving me a few minutes of your day. It's our hope that we get to deliver on our mission this summer of inspiring and equipping thousands of elementary, middle, and high schoolers to follow Jesus and love God's Word.